Hello and welcome back to another HW Aquascaping video. Today you join me back at my local garden centre, uh, back at my local fish store, uh, with a bit more of a uh, tragic outcome. Um, so basically the samurai garamis that I put in, um, sort of in sort of real time for you, it'll be about a month I think since the last video. Uh, for me I've had them about three months but unfortunately over the last sort of week or so, uh, they've dropped off sort of one by one and I, I've got about two left now and even then they're not looking that great um, I've had them before and I had no problems with them and granted I was using RO before but now I'm using tap water but the pH generally is about sort of similar um, in the Asian Peninsula Aquarium so I didn't think there'd be any sort of problems with that but anyway I'm here to basically find an alternative replacement that might be a little bit more hardier so Let's go and take a look what the guys have got. And immediately, these have taken my interest. Um, generally, I was here to get some honey gouramis, but this male uh, dwarf blue gourami that you see here immediately caught my eye. I mean, like, look at his colours compared to the rest of them. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to get a pair of these. So the guys here have got me out a uh, nice pair here. So I've got the male that I wanted. And they found me a really nice coloured female as well to uh, accompany him. And uh, yeah, I think these guys are going to make a uh, really great addition in comparison and hopefully be a little bit more hardier. So I've just got the fish home. Um, I didn't film the process uh, on the way out because they did start to chuck it down with rain. So um, you'll notice there's two bags uh, here. So I've, I've got the uh, pair of dwarf gouramis, uh, as you can see in here. I'm going to get them uh, put into the aquarium. I've turned the aquarium light off already. Um, and the second bag uh, is just filled with some Amano shrimp and uh, some red onion Nerat snails and some horned Nerat snails as well. Just wanted some extra cleanup crew um, in the tank because uh, the Amanos that I had before uh, seem to have uh, made a run for it. Uh, so I've only got a couple left and I think I'm also going to have to take some water out of that tank because there's no way that's going to settle. So I'll do that now and... Uh, We'll get ready to uh, release the fish into the aquarium once they've temperature acclimated. So here we are, the fish have been temperature acclimating for around about 30 minutes now and I'm going to open the bags up and let some of my tank water into the bags with them uh, just to basically get them used to the parameters as I do with all my fish when I introduce them. Um, it's really strange as well, like the cobalt blue gouramis uh, that you see here, um, it's just a variant of dwarf gourami but uh, I've seen them many times and this is the only time that I've seen them where I think like they've actually caught my eye and like, I've seen the beauty that they actually are so I'm really excited to see how they settle into the aquarium. And then this is sort of the bag of uh, cleanup crew as you can see. Um, I've got various amounts of snails and shrimps in there so uh, hopefully they'll help me because uh, every now and again this aquarium has sort of suffered a bit with um, BBA as well as a bit of staghorn but um, hopefully they'll be able to get on top of it for me. So here we are, the fish have been in here for another 10 minutes. Um, they've been getting used to my water. I've disposed of all the bag water um, just because I don't like to introduce it to my aquarium, just in case it introduces any parasites or things that I don't want. But I think it's time to get them in the tank.
I hope you enjoyed the lengthy cinematics of the Cobalt Blue Garamis settling into their new home. Um, I know there's lots of cinematic to go through, but I just cannot get over how powerful and striking the blue is that is coming off them. Uh, you know, they're, they're making a real impact in the aquarium, which, if anything, really is what I wanted in the first place. Like, I was hoping that the Samurai Garamis, when they coloured up, which one of them did for a couple of days, and it did look really nice, but, uh, you know, they, they just didn't create that impact that these guys are, and, you know, I can look at them from the other side of the room, and uh, they're, they're just like, bam, in your face kind of thing, um, which is really nice, and it contrasts really nicely with the um, Celestial Pearl Danios and the uh, Five Banded Barbs that I've got in there. Um, they're happy just swimming around, shoaling in and out of the plants, and uh, yeah, everything's really nice and sort of like harmonious, and it's uh, it's a really nice attraction. So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, obviously, I know it's a uh, starting off with a bit of tragic news, and we're finishing with some more positive news. But to get even more positive, I've got a lot of projects in the pipelines. Um, there's going to be a rescape of the shrimp tank coming soon. Um, I've also got hopefully a uh, patio pond that I'm going to be doing. Um, later on, uh, sort of for the summertime, and uh, I've also got a. It's either going to be a black water tank or a planter better tank. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you which one you want to see first. Um, all you've got to do is comment down below, and uh, or you can comment on my Instagram as well. I've also put a poll up on my latest post for the Baryonyx uh, complete um, series video um so if you go on there or you can comment on here and uh basically yeah just vote for which one you want to see made first um and we'll work our way through most popular to least popular answers and uh, that way they'll all get done at some point but uh, they're all definitely going to get done uh but yeah anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you have Leave me a like and a comment, and uh, hopefully if you've enjoyed it and you're not subscribed, subscribe now and you'll see all these new projects coming. Take care guys, see you later.